Chronic kidney disease, commonly called CKD, is a common condition involving a progressive loss of kidney function. CKD is caused by damage to nephrons, the kidney's filtering units. As nephrons gradually lose their ability to filter the blood, clients develop fluid overload, electrolyte imbalances, and increased levels of urea and other waste products in the blood. CKD is classified by stages according to the individual's glomerular filtration rate, ranging from stage 1, which is asymptomatic, to stage 5 also known as end-stage renal failure. The client's stage of CKD guides their medical treatment. There are many potential risk factors for developing CKD, such as aging, family history of CKD, and a variety of medical conditions. Medical conditions that cause decreased blood flow to the kidneys, such as atherosclerosis, diabetes and high blood pressure, can cause damage to the nephrons. Urinary tract disorders like glomerulonephritis, polycystic kidney disease, kidney stones, prolonged urinary tract obstruction, and recurrent urinary tract infections can damage the nephrons. Other risk factors include autoimmune diseases and chronic long-term use of certain medications, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatories and antibiotics. Clients with CKD are often asymptomatic until the disease advances, filtering worsens, and the client develops fluid retention due to decreased urine output. Signs of fluid retention include unexplained rapid weight gain, edema, dyspnea hypertension, and anorexia. Impaired filtering causes symptoms from resulting electrolyte imbalances such as hyperkalemia, hypernatremia, hyperphosphatemia, and hypocalcemia. Buildup of urea and waste in the blood can cause confusion, cognitive changes, metallic taste, and pruritus. Anemia may also occur due to decreased production of erythropoietin, and increased bleeding may occur due to platelet dysfunction. CKD is diagnosed and monitored with kidney function tests such as serum creatinine, blood urea nitrogen, and glomerular filtration rate. Electrolyte panels are routinely performed to monitor for electrolyte imbalances. Urine tests may be performed to analyze creatinine clearance or check for the presence of blood or protein. Additional testing may include renal ultrasound, CT scan or kidney biopsy to look for signs of structural abnormalities, blockages, or tumors contributing to loss of kidney function. Treatment aims to slow disease progression, manage symptoms, and prevent complications. Treatments may include medications, nutritional restrictions, dialysis and surgery, based on the client's stage of CKD. Medications like ACE inhibitors or ARBs are used to control hypertension and protect the kidneys from further damage. Potassium levels are closely monitored for hyperkalemia, and treatment is initiated to prevent complications like life-threatening cardiac dysrhythmias. Depending on lab results, phosphate binders are prescribed to reduce phosphate levels and calcium supplements are prescribed for hypocalcemia. Erythropoietin-stimulating agents may be prescribed to stimulate red blood cell production. Nutritional choices play a critical role in managing fluid and electrolyte imbalances that occur in CKD. Clients commonly have dietary restrictions prescribed for fluid, sodium, potassium, phosphorus, and protein intake. Hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis becomes necessary in end-stage renal disease. It is tailored to the individual to remove fluid and restore electrolyte balance. Kidney transplantation may also be an option for eligible clients. Nursing interventions for individuals with CKD aim to manage symptoms, slow disease progression, prevent complications and support the client's overall well-being. Interventions include medication management, fluid and electrolyte management, and health teaching. Nurses provide health teaching about CKD, its progression, prescribed treatments, and the importance of self-management. Clients are taught to monitor their daily weights for signs of worsening fluid retention and to avoid medications that are nephrotoxic. Lifestyle modifications like daily exercise, stress management, and smoking cessation are encouraged to improve overall health and slow disease progression. Nurses use active listening and therapeutic communication to help clients cope with the challenges, anxiety and lifestyle changes associated with this chronic disease. Clients are encouraged to participate in support groups to connect with others facing similar challenges. The overarching goals of treating CKD involve slowing the progression of kidney damage, preventing complications and maintaining optimal quality of life. Evaluation of interventions is based on these goals and specific outcomes identified for each client. If goals and outcomes are not met, the nurse collaborates with the multidisciplinary team to revise the plan of care to better meet these goals and enhance the quality of life for clients living with CKD.